Welcome everyone into my channel and YouTube, Sergio Calle Perez, and I invite you to subscribe it if you don't so. But please share this message to your contacts and also click on the bell in order to open the notification for the upcoming videos. I also tell you that today, May 8, 2020, in Friday, we'll invite you that in a couple days we celebrate the Mother's Day. But also it's important to recognize that Mother's is everyday celebration. Uh, she poured the gift in her womb, as I told you yesterday. Let me tell you something about else about the Gospel of St. John chapter 14, verse 2, 3, uh, today's. He said, Jesus, In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I am go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. From this time of time, it's important that we focus on the glorious reality of heaven. Heaven is real and God willing, one day we'll all be united there with our triune God. If we properly understood heaven, we'll long for it with a deep and burning love and we look forward to it with a powerful desire, being filled with the peace and joy every time we think of it. Unfortunately, however, the thought of leaving this earth and meeting our market is a frightening thought for some. Perhaps it is the fear of the unknown, the realization that we leave our own loved ones behind, or possibly even a fear that heaven will not be our final resting place. Heaven will be our final resting place, can be say you, maybe you ask about that. But let me tell you, as Christian, it is essential that we work at the foresting a great love of heaven by gaining a proper understood of not only heaven itself, but also the purpose of our lives on earth. Heaven helps order our lives and help us stay on path that leads us to the eternal beatitude. In the passage of God, we are given a very consoling Im image of heaven. It is the image of the Father's house. This image is a good one to reflect upon because it reveals that heaven is our home. Home is a safe place. It is a place where we can be ourselves, relax, be with loved ones, and feel as if we belong. We are God's sons and daughters, and He has decided that we belong there with Him. Jesus also remarked in that part of the Gospel, in St. John Chapel 14, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes through the Father except through me. That is very remarkable to all of you to understand because Jesus showed us the way. In many forms, he said, I am the door, as the Gospel of Chapel 10 of St. John we read last Sunday. I am the gate where all the uh, uh, forge come in. And also Jesus says, I am the way uh, in taking the cross. Jesus is the real true. As so many fact, Pontius Pilate, he said, who, who is the true? And he has remained silent. And he understood that he was so, uh, he was faced in front of him, the true. Also, it's important that um, he is the life. He remembered that Jesus says, I give my life freely. Nobody take him from me. I willingly give up my life. So Jesus gave us his body and blood in the Eucharist to give us anticipation, the rejoice of the eternal life. Also, let me tell you that in the coming days, we celebrate the Mother's Day. And we tell you that all human life from the moment of the concession and through all subsequent states is sacred. Because human life is created in the image and likeness of God, nothing surpasses the greatness of dignity of human person. If a person's right to life is violated in the moment in which he is first conceived in his mother's womb, an indirect blow is struck also on the whole moral order. Every Mass is a memorial of the one sacrifice of the Passover which restores life to the world. Every Mass 
puts us into intimate or in an intimate communion with her, the mother, whose sacrifice becomes present just as the sacrifice of her son becomes present at the words of consecration. And the root of the Eucharist is the virginal and maternal life of Mary. To all our mothers, happy Mother's Day from now on. And today, they receive a great blessing from God. I pray for you, pray for me, and to all of you, may God bless you.